I'm about to spend the most money I've ever spent in my whole life, and I hope y'all stick around to find out what I'm buying. I'm getting out of this high-rise penthouse suite Where we pretend life's rosy and sweet I'm going back to the folks that I used to know Where everyone is what they seem to be Thank you to Russell for always coming through and helping me out. Uh, he's letting me borrow his trailer, and my buddy Chewy is going to pull it for us. And we're going to pick up something big, really, really big. And these high class friends that you like to hang around. When they look my way, they're always looking down. And I'm tired of you spending every dime I make to finance this way of life I've learned. Over by the gate, Lordy, here she comes With a basket full of chicken and a big cold jug of sweet tea well, I make a little room and she climbs on up I Open up a throttle and stir a little dust Just look at her face, she ain't a fool of me She thinks my trap is sexy it really turns her on She's always staring at me While I'm chugging along She likes to win pulling while we're tilling up the land She's even kind of crazy about my farmer's tan She's the only one who really understands what gets me She thinks my tractor's sexy Hey guys, I gotta interrupt the fun for just a minute and say thank you to all the people who became a member in my last video. I said that there would be a join button down there, but since I got copyrighted, there wasn't one. So if you want to become a member, it's as cheap as $1.99 a month. You can click on my name down here, which should go to my main channel page and there should be a join button. If there's not, you can go back a couple of videos and there will be there will be a join button around where the subscribe button usually is. So I'm sorry they made that difficult. Hope you guys are enjoying the good music. I canceled my membership for uh, for the music that I usually use. It's $120 a, a year. And um, yeah, I didn't enjoy the music. So I'm tired of paying for it and I'd rather play good music. So if you guys want to support me, I appreciate it. If you don't or you can't, then that's totally understandable and you won't miss any of my regular videos. So thank you guys for sticking around. I love you guys so much.
All right, guys, welcome to my jungle. We brought the backhoe down here to my house, and we're about to make progress on the shop build. It'll be a little easier to see once I knock some of this tall grass down. All right, I think we're gonna go about 24 feet back from this, all the way 30 feet that way. So we're gonna have to grab a hold of the spur and pull it forward out of the way. But right now, I'm just ready to dig a hole with this backhoe. I was the one who found it uh, listed on the internet. It's all my fault. All right, guys, first off, here's the instrument panel. Here's our key. That kicks us on. There's my fan. That's a little horn. Fuel gauge works, that's good. I think it works anyway. We're just under half a tank. I just installed a new temperature gauge and a new oil pressure gauge because they weren't working. And uh, so this is our forward and reverse right here. Uh, we basically select a gear right here, what we want it to be in, and then you just put it in forward or reverse. All right, here's my control for my front bucket, up, down, side, side. Okay, and then right down here underneath me, there's a lever on the seat. Press that. And then turn around to the backhoe controls. So, these are for my legs down there. And then these are for the boom and bucket. So, I'm gonna turn this thing on, it's gonna be hard to hear me, but uh, I'll let you guys watch me run the controls. And uh, really we need to get this thing moved around in the butt pointing that way. And then uh, we can start moving some dirt. It's a big job just getting by with nine kids and a wife. But I've been working man dang near all my life and I'll keep on working. As long as my two hands are fit to use I'll drink my beer in a tavern Sing a little bit of these working man blues I'll keep my nose on the grindstone Work hard every day I might get a little tired on the weekend After I draw my pay I'll go back working Come Monday morning, I'm right back with the crew. All right, guys, y'all can see I've moved a lot of dirt already. I went down about three foot over there. Probably need to go more, but there's a lot of water coming off that hill, so until I divert the water that way, I don't want to pull any more. But you can see I got dirt pretty high right here. Problem is, Suburban's in the way, so we're about to move it. And then we're going to push some of this dirt that way, start evening it out. We don't need to dig over here. We just need to take the dirt from over here, put it over here. So. All right, got the chain hooked to the Suburban. I'm going to very carefully move it about 20 or 30 feet up there and hope for the best. I drank a little beer that evening, sang a little bit of these working man blues. Sometimes I think about leaving, do a little bumming around. I want to throw my bills out the window, catch a train to another town. I'll go back working, gotta buy my kids a brand new pair of shoes. I drank a little beer in a tavern, cry a little bit of these working man blues. Here comes that working man. Man, 
men on welfare, and that's one place I won't be. I'll be working. All right, guys, back over here working at the house today. You can tell I'm already filthy. I have uh, done some weed eating. I at least pushed this back. There's a hill right there, so I can't really get up on there anyway. But I got the pallets of rocks moved. We just stuck it down in all my holes from yesterday. We're going to pull that satellite dish out today. Today I'm just going to fix a lot of my mistakes from yesterday. Uh, I didn't really think about it, but I need to get all, all the way up in there, back behind the house, and dig out that trench that way. So, should have thought about that before I put all the dirt right here, but this is where I was getting stuck last night. So, hopefully it's dry enough now I can get through there. My biggest mistake, guys, I'm really new to this, so I'm going to learn as I go, but there's nothing I can't fix. It's just more work. So, basically the ditch around the house runs right around the corner and then comes and drains into here. So I need to get back in this wood somewhere and draw the ditch out that way and let it taper down this hill. So, I kind of piled all this dirt here a little prematurely because now I need to move this to find a route through there. I know it's hard to see, but that cedar tree right there is going to be about four foot off the back of the shop. I don't think any of this dirt's going to be in the way. I do think that dirt's going to be in the way. I'm going to cut down this tree, just try to sneak through there. I think I've got a route with just really small trees. Hopefully that's the case. All right, guys, you can see we made a little progress thinning stuff out. My chain was dull. Lindsay brought me a new one, but it was the wrong one. So we'll swing by and get the right one tomorrow and be back. And hopefully get this sucker off in the woods so we can dig a ditch. All right, guys, we're on day three of the shop. Uh, I finally got cut back into the woods. I had to cut a lot of trees down. I can kind of show you a little bit of that. So over there is where we were sitting. We blazed through here and then backed in. So now we're on the back side of the house. We're gonna dig a ditch. Right over here is where I started digging dirt for the shop. So we're just gonna dig a straight line out here. Right now the water goes right around the back of there and goes like this. So we just needed to divert it, come this way. Uh, guys, we're going to have a lot more videos of me running the backhoe coming in the future, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of video of me running the controls, and then we're going to have to end this so I can get a video out for you guys because it's been almost two weeks again. forward so we can move that stump out of the way we're just gonna roll forward a little bit
guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And we'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. She's even kind of crazy about my farmer's tan. She's the only one who really understands what gets me. She thinks my tractor's sexy.